Hey, hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you've never been here before, my name is Elizabeth and I share my personal style, my love for easy beauty. And today I'm gonna to be talking to you babes about the five fall fashion trends I'm going to be rocking. I love fall fashion and it's honestly my favorite time to thrift. I feel like it's a time I find cool blazers, jackets, trousers, dresses. So I hope this video brings you inspiration and I hope it just excites you for fall because I'm really excited. And another note, I live in Southern California so we don't really get fall it's a lot of like pre-fall transitional you know summer to fall outfits over here so yeah let's get into it so the first trend that I'm loving that I've been rocking are lug sole boots so I've had these I think I bought these in 2019 these are the Doc Martin Chelsea boots they do take a bit of time to break in, but they are well worth it. And I'll definitely still be rocking these, but it never bothered me before, but I now want something that doesn't have a noticeable yellow stitching, but I definitely want something that literally looks like this. So I picked these up last year through Nasty Gal. Love, love, love them, highly recommend. But where I'm at in my life is I want to buy something that's a little bit more quality that will last. So I'll probably be selling these. Be sure to follow me on Instagram to see, you know, when I sell these. But the boots that I want to get are by Ghani. The only reason why I know that is because I actually picked these up during the Nordstrom sale. And these were like 50% off. They're normally like 260 and I got them for like 130. These are not leather, they are rubber, but they are so comfortable. I want a pair of tall boots to be honest, but I am petite. So I ordered the super tall Ghani recycled rain boot. Um, it is rubber like this. I got it in black. I don't mind wearing rubber. These look like Bottega Veneta. It's really chic, so the brown is really cute to me. I know it comes in a couple different colors. And then I picked up the Ghani version in black that looks like this. So I love lug sole boots and they look cute with dresses. I styled it the cute black dress and a leather blazer. They look cute with shorts. As you can see, I'm rocking it with this gray blazer, which I'll be talking about in a bit. And they're just like a really fun piece that also look great with trousers, jeans. As you can see, I'm rocking them with a pair of jeans as well very wearable so these are boots that i love i vouch for you're definitely gonna want to check them out you can go an affordable route i'll link some options below invest in the jade and the doc martin has been a great boot or go a little bit higher like i did this year and i'm treating myself to a ghani boot i don't know which i'm gonna keep so stay tuned for that now let's get into the second trend which is suiting i love blazers i love trousers i'm sure you guys already have a blazer but i love like the really structured oversized ones and for me what i'm really interested in which i did score is a gray blazer absolutely love this i've seen such cute outfits paired i saw Haley baldwin rocking it really oversized with some new balances i've seen babes rocking with knit sweaters and trousers love 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 and you guys can thrift these they're so easy to thrift you thrift them in the men's department i picked this one up at a local thrift store and like i mentioned i live in southern california so it is a bit warm so a great way to rock this look is with the white tee some denim shorts it'll look great with jeans some like straight leg jeans so i absolutely love this color another example of suiting tailoring are cropped blazers if you scored one a few months ago, cheers to you, but I was selling some cropped blazers and I'm gonna be releasing some more. So if you didn't, I got you. I'll share a link below to my blazer store. And if I am sold out, don't worry, more are coming, but just really cute cropped blazers. They look so good with jeans. Like I'm rocking a little long sleeve shirt, some jeans and the lug sole boots. So cute, so comfortable. In case you're not into the super oversized blazers like I like rocking, definitely recommend a cropped one. Also, you can do a long blazer coat, which are really cool and chic. I saw Bella Hadid rocking one, which is jeans and a tee. And there's so many fun ways you can rock it, but I'm feeling gray right now, light gray. Black is always a go-to. I love a good black oversized blazer. A fun plaid one, a brown blazer, also pinstripe. The options are endless. And then something else that goes along with suiting are trousers. I love trousers, so comfortable. Such a great alternative to denim. And when you find a really great pair that flatters you, it just really is a cool girl vibe in my opinion. I love trousers, they look great when it's sweaters. You can easily wear them to work, but you can pair it down with a tank and some sneakers like I'm rocking for this like edgy vibe. And if you want to like take it up a notch and like really be fashion forward and just really be experimental and step out of your comfort zone, suits. 
that's really cool. I haven't found the courage to rock one fully, but I did thrift one. So comment below if I should rock it and experiment with it, but I feel like a full suit is just like another cool layer. Great for the office in my opinion, um, but yes, just suiting tailored pieces. Love, love, love. For a trend number three, knits. Obviously a knit sweater. I love a baggy oversized sweater. I love something super cozy. You can wear with leggings, you can wear with leather pants. But what I'm really excited to be rocking and wearing are knit pants, little knit sets, as well as like knit skirts and dresses. So I've had these Paloma wool pants all summer. I've worn them a couple times. So I'm excited to transition them into fall. And I have it paired with a fun vintage tee, my vintage Levi's jacket, some sneakers, and a cute purse. Super comfy, definitely a cute way to run errands or be casual yet kind of polished at home. I think a great alternative to sweat. So I love these knit pants, a little flare pant. And then also knit dresses. I have been on the search for a cute knit dress and I actually thrifted this black one the other day. I think it's a little too long for me, but I really love the cut because it could be dressy or it could be kind of casual and I'm rocking it with my Prada loafers. I don't love wearing all black to be honest like i just don't think it's my favorite color i love grays i love whites navies so i kind of want to find something that is a little bit lighter but i love this it was like 6.99 super chic and then also maybe a knit skirt something midi length i think would be super cute i've seen a cute cream one and i'm just filling that with like a cute oversized tee maybe some loafers maybe some slides so yeah, I'm really feeling knits and trend number four, which I love and I feel like it's time for you babes to embrace it, are loose, oversized, kind of like wide leg jeans. I feel like there's so many different ways to explain this style because one, we have different body types and I think finding a style that suits you highly recommend. If you've been following me, I always talk about the Nasty Gal Drew jean. If you are petite and curvy like me, you'll love these. I highly, highly recommend these. I've had these for almost three years because they're fitted at the waist, but they're a little tapered, but then like straight leg. So I find these to be super flattering, super comfortable. And I love these. I have them in black, but I really like it. Pair like a long sleeve, lug sole boots. And if you are a little bit nervous to kind of transition into like this wider leg style, you're not feeling it, I highly recommend maybe peeping Abercrombie's denim, the 90s high rise I've talked about. I've done a review on Abercrombie jeans, so I'll link it above, but I love the 90s high rise. And then they have the curve love, if you are curvy like me. As you can see, I'm rocking the black pair and it is a bit fitted, but it gives you kind of like, not that illusion, but it is a bit of a loose straight leg. So you can kind of get a taste of this and see if you like this style and then maybe, you know, if you wanna be bold, try something new, which I hope this video is inspiring you to try some new things, give it a thumbs up if it is. But Drew jeans, I absolutely love, highly recommend. All right, and the last trend I wanna talk about are colors, saturated colors, rune, green, and kind of like that bright cobalt blue. What I'm really gravitating towards are more red tones and since we are headed into fall. I decided to treat myself to this Bottega bag. I absolutely love it. It can be a clutch and it's a crossbody as well. It was also secondhand. I bought it off Fashion File. I'm so obsessed with secondhand bags. I love buying secondhand bags. I've done reviews on my design bag collection. Also some tips on buying secondhand if you wanna peep that. So I bought this for me, I love it. So this maroon color, burgundy color is definitely a beautiful color for fall. And another way I'm incorporating this color is with some sneakers. I decided to treat myself to the New Balance 550s. I'm sure you've been seeing these, love them, but the resale on those, I don't know what happened. I almost thought I would spend $700, but I just, I couldn't and I'm okay with that. So I found them on StockX as well, but they have other colors that aren't this collaboration. And so I guess New Balance is re-releasing this style, but in different colorways, not with the collab, but they look exactly the same. So I decided to get the burgundy color and in order to like style colors that aren't my usual go-tos, I love doing it with accessories. So obsessed with the Bottega bag. And then I can't wait to rock it together with the New Balance 550s. Another saturated color that I'm loving is fuchsia. This is a really beautiful Brandon Blackwood bag. Very Prada vibes, not the price point, but uh, love this bag. This is from the lobby. I do have a promo code and a link below if you wanna purchase it. But I love this fuchsia color. It is 
so nice. It fits a lot. And I love this nylon because it's easy to clean. But I just like love this pop of color, this contrast. So this is such a fun way to incorporate colors, bright colors. I need to create a wardrobe staple video because ultimately I would love to inspire you guys to have basics like this. So every season you're just kind of maybe treating yourself to a couple new pieces, not a full wardrobe. So love, love, love this bag and be a great way to incorporate this color with some heels or some other accessories. But um, yeah, love this color. Green's another great color. I know the New Balances come in green, um, green knit sweater, green hoodie. But yeah, these are the colors I'm loving right now, maroon and this fuchsia color. Another fun color would be, like I said, the cerulean blue, also some green. I don't have that like emerald Kelly green, but really rich saturated colors. So that is it, you guys. Those are all the trends that I'm loving, that I'm gonna be rocking. I hope you like this video. I hope you give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos from me, be sure to subscribe to my channel and comment below what you're gonna be rocking. I'd love to hear your favorite trends because these are mine at the moment and can't wait to wear them. And yeah, I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.